<laughs> these are the points which are very important. Point one, point two, point three, three, four, five, six, and this is seven. Okay, this is the height given for us. H one, no. I'll I'll do one thing. I'll write H A and H B. Or, or or write x and y that'll be sufficient we'll, we'll write only h L later on you can change symbol because the h1 are using here no p1 h1 will get confused okay let's use the symbols here now what is the state of liquid here Th this liquid is at rest Th this also a liquid hmm? that th everything is a liquid and the liquid starts emerging here. So this is air, this air. So what is the pressure at one? Should be P naught. So the, all those layers of liquid which are exposed to atmosphere, they must have what happened? The pressure should be equal to how much? Should be equal to P naught. So the first thing, P1 equal to P7 should be equal to P naught. Will I agree? Because this is a free surface. No. What makes the liquid to rush into the tube? The pressure here will be less than P naught here. So therefore the liquid, what happened, will in fact rush. Now why the pressure become less? Because of surface tension. That, that we'll discuss later on. So at least I can say no. The pressure at two will be less than, slightly less than P naught. So therefore the liquid will flow from high pressure to low pressure. It will start rushing. Then, then the liquid, what happened, will flow like this. Then this is a height y. So let's see that P3 plus rho g y minus P2 equals zero. What is P3? P2 minus rho g y. We'll agree this formula, manometric equation. Actually, you should, and just I'm, I'm bringing the idea. So later on the pressure at three in fact, will be less than pressure at two. So therefore the liquid will rest. So what is the state of the liquid? Here, everywhere the liquid will be in motion. It will emerge with a speed V. Everywhere the liquid will be in motion. So th this, <coughs> why the liquid will move? I just gave this equation. I'll, I'll, time being, okay, this one, I'll take it out. Huh? Okay, now, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V7, equal to V. Uh, you can ask questions, sir. Why, why you are writing equal speed? Bernal is equation of continuity. What is the area of cross-section of the tube at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Everywhere the area of cross-section is seen. So, therefore, from equation of continuity, this is from where this idea has come from equation of continue the reason for that a2 equal to a3 equal to a4 equal to a5 equal to a6 equal to a7 so therefore the speed of liquid everywhere must be seen and i am very sure that p2 will be less than p1 so therefore the liquid will rush into the tube and it starts moving here. Okay, till here. So now let me apply between E1 and E7. What is the pressure at one? P naught. Potential energy. One, one is at higher level, no? Compared to this. So. Or, or we'll, we'll write it. P1 plus U1 plus K1, P7, U7 plus K7. Pressure at one, P naught. Potential energy is how much? Rho GH. And what is the state of liquid at one? At rest. Pressure at seven, P naught. Potential energy is zero. Rho V square by two. So what is V equal to? root of 2gh. So with this much of velocity, what will happen? The liquid will come out here. Okay, now I, I'm interested at 
pressure that tree you should not write manometric equation because they dynamic liquid no so what you should do if you want anywhere pressure apply like this e3 e2 what is e3 p3 plus u3 k3 is equal to p2 plus u2 plus k2 now what is the pressure at 3 pressure at 3 we don't know it is that air potential g rho g y pressure at 2 it is having some value we don't know that and 0 rho v square by 2 so what is p3 plus rho g y equal to p2 you should write the equation like this so definitely what you can say that p3 equal to p2 minus rho g y so therefore p3 less than p2 what about pressure at 3 4 5 will be same because 3 and 4 5 are at same horizontal level So some we have to fight with help of what Bernoulli's equation. With help of that, we should try to relate here. So P three greater than P two. What we got P two less than P one. Then P three, P four, P five. They're at same horizontal level. So therefore, P three equal to P four equal to P five. Uh, what about six and seven? Shall we write? Yes. Again. You can write between six and seven. So for six and seven, the equation will end. Now let's go for six and seven. E six equal to E seven. P six. Now look at this P six pressure. We don't know P six that one. U six is how much? Rho G H plus Rho V square by two P naught plus zero. So what is the pressure at six? Pressure at six will be P naught minus Rho G H. So pressure at six will be less than P naught. Between any two points, you can write it. Huh? Between any two points, you can write manometric equation. <clears throat> we wanted velocity of this one. This is our answer, huh? which we needed. With what speed it will come? It all depends upon h that one. And now I'll I'll put a condition in the same siphon. So this is the point six. <coughs> I'll take this one. So no, now definitely what happens? The length of the six point five piece this much here. Why can't the liquid will rush out? Why it will not flow out? So boldly what happens? I'll say that liquid will be attached here inside this. Fine. So these are the points are there. I said that liquid at rest. Liquid will not flow out. Huh? So I'll put a condition. Liquid will not. Flow out of pipe at six. Now we have to give explanation why the liquid will not come out. Pressure at six, how much will be P naught because it exposed to atmosphere. Pressure at one is P naught. So one thing I am very sure what is that P one equal to P six equal to P naught. Okay, th 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 this is no problem. No pressure at five. No, 
this is shall we use some other symbol r i'll write it no problem so let, let's write equation everywhere the liquid attached no so the, since liquid motion we should take bernoulli theorem it's a fluid statics so therefore p3 plus rho gr minus p2 equal 0 p3 equal to p0 minus no p2 minus rho gr and pressure at 1 2 6 should be p0 pressure at 2 is how much is p0 so pressure at 3 will be less than p0 then i'll come for pressure at 3 4 5 should be same they're on same horizontal level i'll write equation p5 plus rho g y minus p6 equal 0 p5 equal to p6 minus rho g y so definitely what is the pressure at 5 will be less than p not so that's why the liquid is able to balance that liquid column if pressure at 5 were more than p not no the liquid would have rushed it okay what is the pressure at 5 pressure at 5 will be less than pressure at 6 so liquid will not come out if pressure at 5 were more than pressure at 6 no the liquid would have emerged out so tell me like for the siphon for the siphon to work what we should do what is the necessity condition will you put it this h should be greater than 0 no that's all if the hole okay this end of the pipe if the if the end of this pipe if it lies above the level of liquid in the tank the liquid will not emerge out that was the only reason are you looking at this level i think if you have noticed okay this one look at the mouth of the siphon we call this usually mouth if the mouth of the siphon lies above the level of liquid then what happen liquid will not emerge out from the siphon if the mouth of the siphon lies below the level of liquid in the tank the liquid will emerge out with what speed it emerge out how much this length how much more you make this length how much you make more length so that's what is telling no root 2 gh so if you increase this length as yes, the liquid will come out with more speed so there is a method of taking out liquid from a tank there is a method of taking this one uh, what about why i think the length of y matters i think it, it doesn't matters no so necessary why i should increase y very much okay just to make it a bend i'll bring it like this here now don't ask sir why don't you put a hole say i can put a hole closing hole is a big problem use common sense if you make a hole closing it is a big problem so instead what happen i use it whenever i don't want the liquid i'll just what happen move this end i'll just move this siphon up oh no the liquid stops coming from it the moment mouth lies above the free surface here no liquid will emerge out getting the idea so these are some mechanisms are there to take out the liquid from a tank so what is the conclusion now when the mouth of the siphon this is called like a mouth of siphon when the mouth of siphon lies below the free surface liquid will emerge out when the mouth lies above the free surface liquid will not emerge out will you will call this as a mouth simple simplest thinking so what is the conclusion therefore if mouth of siphon lies above free surface no liquid flows out from mouth and similarly if mouth of siphon lies 
below safe surface a liquid finish all so you need not to bother anything uh, now you